Welcome back to Character You're Select. You're a rebel, Billy. D it. Billy Idol, get it? Yeah, and then Einstein with his tongue sticking Albert's out. Albert's my hero. <gasps> I like to keep my bed made. Never know who might walk into my room. Me. I like this room, by the way. Yeah, I kind of like the, the track lighting. Track lighting, the If it wood weren't paneling. for my monthly computer magazine. All right. Being... Jesus Christ. And we're over here now. Okay. Where am I? Okay. <laughs> uh. Oh no, the cat. Okay, so it is always the same one. All right. I wonder if I, uh, I haven't tried the middle one yet. You haven't tried the middle one yet. Just have to keep going. Hmm. There was an archway. I know. Franklin, you idiot. <clears throat> I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is See, that you gotta look at everything. Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory See? is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We Wait. can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, hmm. you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not sheriff? stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? Uh, okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you What's two the fighting helmet? again? I'm getting so I'm questioning sick of that this. too. Your brothers! Take a chill pill! You started the pillow factory together! Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing no. you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, Franklin, can you get my point eight millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's solder is one of those weird words. Meat. I can't wait to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. We're getting there. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. The fuck is phase memory monitoring? I don't know, but I want that. The Cat509 Tales. The label says it's called Cat509 Tales, produced by GetDigital.eu. I guess Uncle Chuck was an impatient system admin back in the day. <laughs> I... Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I gotta look this up. Hold it's on. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that Motherfucker, makes it a Chuck register. Motherfucker, getdigital.eu is a goddamn website. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. I see some black powder around the edges, and it smells awful. Warning, contents highly flammable. Sounds useful. Tyler? Yep. The Cat 509 Tales is 1795 uh, 17 euro. I'm sure <laughs> it is. Uncle Chuck God gets damn it. real angry if I'm too- I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets- Oh, Dolores, oh boy. Dolores, Dolores. How many times- All right, like yeah. Or, Fine, wait. fuck off. All right. Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why. Dolores, my dear, don't touch the painting. You'll get access to it and what's there. behind it after you've taken over. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. Seems like the mail should have arrived. God, they're really needy. So... Wait, yeah, so somebody is saying that Dolores is the murderer. Somebody is saying that the clown is the murderer. Well, and the one that's saying Dolores is the murderer is the, like, bimbo sister. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, this is a puzzle. 
eventually, but let's go grab the computer magazine for oh, God's God. sake. So she'll stop talking. Okay. No, no. No, why? Oh, oh no. Oh, wait. <laughs> no. I saw oh, a secret it's of, worse. I saw the secret of Monkey Island. Did you? Are you sure? Yes, I am. I'm 100% oh, sure. There oh. it is. Walk to it. Oh, Sick we did pick pillows. up the cabin. Alright. What is he doing? What's that book? Oh, it's a phone book. I... Oh. Hmm. Okay. Spelled the Chuck wrong. The time I blew up Lachouche. This is not written well. Who? What? Yeah, I don't think this is not written well. Okay. Oh, well, that's, that's why. Now that's I'm okay. Sad. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. <laughs> Shut up. Space Wars. Secret of Chimp Planet. Dr. Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that clearly says Dr. Zeus. Holy ghost of cheetah, it's the thing! Shattered Coco. <laughs> God. Oh, wait, no, open that back up. Oh, dang it. I'm sure it's just another one of those vibrating things they use to release sexual urges. Now close it. Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I took the time to read that. Job interview of a vampire. I should check the mail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the moon was full and sexual. <laughs> a guy who she totally looked like a rock. She fumbled with the resume. Her insurance plan covers non-sexual life companions. She found herself short of breath and loosened the top button of her blouse. Now your references. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sorry, Doris right. had to witness that. I will talk to you later. Is this out of order? I it hope so. It says out of order. Yep. Damn it. Even in the future, nothing works. Isn't this the future past? I don't know what the hell <laughs> right, we're talking about. Kitchen. Microwave. Nothing. There's nothing inside. 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 It's an There's empty clearly glass. something inside. I want that glass. What's in here? There's blood. Ketchup. What a mess. Someone could cut themselves on those carefully handling broken glass. Uh, non-trademark infringing <laughs> poopsie. It's a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. Delightful. Um, batteries. This is all a reference to Maniac Mansion, they of course. They look pretty old. I think I see mold growing on one. Ew. Alright, I want the hot, hot sauce. sauce. of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Delightful. All right, how I should about check the mailbox the lettuce. for my computer magazine. And how Looks about the cheese? Looks good enough for a snack. There's Interestingly enough, the whole point of the, the fridge in inside. Maniac Mansion was to give you a bunch it's of red herrings that you never actually needed. Yeah, I'm sure that's like all the, the trash on the side of the road earlier. Mm hmm Alright, I think the kitchen is... Wait, what if I wanted to heat this pie in the microwave? I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. Oh, oh, right. Uh, this clock, clock looks vaguely familiar. Because Maybe this more looks highly so... rendered and smoother pendulum action. Yeah, what? it's almost like this is the freaking foyer from Maniac Mansion. Oh my god. No. The fireplace looks very clean. That's not, though. No. <laughs> it's a gas can. To... Don't get your hopes up, though. It's special gas have you seen... for chainsaws only. It's oh my full. god, we have a chainsaw! Why did it's you a pick log up of firewood. Why is this shaking? 
Flask, uh, you should learn new stuff. By Brian. I already got enough firewood. Alright, so open yon Mailtron 3000. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna huh. make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to Isn't that the drug? What, what brings Chuck you all wants. the way out here? I have your Isn't special magazine drug? here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, you start it's what again? dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. Okay. Are you are you enjoying yourself? I am. Okay. Uh, let's see. Find the ideal job. Escape from Thimbleweed Park. You got it. Wait, what's her cover say? What? The cover of her journal. Uh, Dolores is ready. Pascal Whopper, and an alien egg. And MSX. Yep, MSX is there. What's that icon then, below it? I don't know. Hmm. I'm sure someone in the comments, the comments will let us know. know. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. Dirt. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all the entirety. Okay, Doug. Whoa. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Keep bang up that job doing. I right, can't leave the mansion road. mansion yet. Ugh. All right. Uh, read the it's read the magazine. World, the best computer magazine ever. We'll see about that. Do you have what it takes to be a come on, <laughs> big game programmer? Isn't that Space Quest One? Mm, yes. Except that. Major Flem Games, the makers of hit games, Three Lines of Haze, and Behind Jaggy Lines. <laughs> Just looking for qualified applicants. Just complete and mail this comprehensive programming test, and you will be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable career in computer game development as a mucus. Mucuslit game programmer. Imagine the perks. Long hours, non-diet soda and pizza. Work with people who don't want to get to know you either. Eee. Out of date arcade machines in the rec area. Nice. And watch your parent company's profits grow. <laughs> God, that hits a little too close to home, doesn't it? I know, it? right? Ugh. Like, I'm not even a programmer, but sometimes it's like, uh. <laughs> wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true! I'm going to apply! Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Alright, well, let's go modem. Modem number. So we can go in the library. But why? Because there's a phone. <sighs> oh. Was that a doorbell? It was. It's He's getting pulled back and forth here. Oh my god. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a open 50, it, open it, open five it. Five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back open to my finally it. government job. Open nope. It. Nope. She is lawful good. Wow. And lawful. tampering with the mail is a tr is a crime. Chuck is such a bully. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. I mean, Chucky's aren't all been in plants our good? For years. He's a good plant. All plants go to heaven. All right. Uh. Use your computer, because it's a modem number. Wow. Well, she said An ad for a call. job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. Did she? This could be she a She said there's a modem number to call. And it's like, I get that's how modems work, like, for <laughs> computers, but... Maybe this game didn't quite figure that out? Anyway, uh, actually, let's go give Frendo his letter Did before it? we get to our stuff. Do, 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 do. Cause maybe we'll get the envelope and we can use that to mail. I'm really liking this game, by the way. It's like, very well made. Like the soundtrack is great. There's enough mystery that I'm not entirely sure what's going on yet. 
The controls are very good. The controls are very good, and it's very nostalgic. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Uh, okay. You're just... You're just doing that to tempt me, aren't you? Well, you won't fool me. We have to figure out something to do with all of this stuff. <laughs> so we're going to put the cheese in my mouth and eat it. <laughs> that hit the spot. It's a wilting now eat the head lettuce. of lettuce. It's a wilting head of lettuce. Eat it. Ugh. I'm definitely not hungry for soggy lettuce. Don't let your lettuce be sauce? soggy. That's not breathing fire, wow. that's puking fire. <laughs> also, that's not the appropriate reaction for what just happened. <laughs> Holy shit. That'll be useful. All right. Walk to computer. <clears throat> it's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. Use. With dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. I'm dialing nice. the mucus phlegm modem number. Meaner, meaner. It's connecting. Uh. I can't believe my computer's connected to Mucus Phlegm. Welcome to That's the new so online Mucus Phlegm job application program. That's Just not how fill it out works. your personal no. information and answer a few simple Mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get All back right, so we to you in exactly five ribbon. days. Nice. What is your name? Uh, Dolores Edmund. Annie Edmund. Thank you. What is your address? The Mansion Mansion. Oh. What? I... Uh, West Wyoming, Washington, West Virginia, or Wisconsin? I don't know this. Noted. Next, what's I don't your think programming you can... language of There's choice? A... Well, I was going to go the look at the letter and see what the mailing address was on it. Uh, yeah, it basic, past... basic, basic. Was it basic? Yeah, she said basic, didn't she? Yeah. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary what was on the programming cover of language. Notebook, though? You must get all of the questions uh, right it... to submit your application. First question. Oh, we'll find out. How many parameters no can dead functions ends. take? Uh. Alright. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. Gotta do the library. I need to go okay. find a book about mucus programming. Also, uh, I just want to look at that letter and see if there's like a address on there. Fair. <laughs> Probably smudged. Well, how do you know it was supposed to go here then? It's a letter to my uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. What is that? It's mean? a letter to my uncle Chuck. I don't know. It's a letter oh. to my uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. I don't want to pull the stamps off. They might rip. Oh. It's a glass filled with water. That will just make the letter soggy. You need like hmm. steam. In the microwave. Yes. Oh, it's puzzle shit. I love puzzle shit. I mean, that's the whole point of point puzzle. like adventure games. It's true. Solving mundane things in increasingly unexpected, increasingly complicated ways. <laughs> yeah. All right, library first. Library. And we can light the fireplace too, because we got the firewood and this the hot Uncle sauce. In this is Uncle. This is Uncle Chuck's index. Uh, hmm. Use. It says there's a. This is Uncle Chuck's index. Tron three thousand. Hmm. You gotta let her talk. It okay. says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section three point one. All right, three one. Terrible argument. Uh, hmm. Where the fuck is three one? Is there a three one? Uh, shit, it's upstairs, isn't it? <sighs> Norwegian cheese. Eating is complicated. The sign says it's out of order. Use it anyway. Take the sign. No one will miss this out of order sign. 
The outer and order side is gone, so it's obviously fixed. <laughs> Haven't been up here for Gotta a long love it. time. Oh boy, that's fabulous. I'm glad I figured that shit out. <laughs> wow, look at that hat. Damn, that's, my that's grandmother, a hat. Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. I, we were technically over time on that's this episode, but I want to figure out her shit first. Robots on his mind, even then. Uh, alright, let's see. Impossible math proofs, okay, symbolic logic, hell's trigonometry. <laughs> Fun math, we're seventh grade. In the layer of the count. Mathics. Olympic combinatorics, nice. Positive integers. Isn't that all of them? No, you can have negative integers. Yeah, it's just all of the positive <laughs> integers. <laughs> God damn it. The new calculus. And never to make calculus more accessible. Uh, 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 media theory. Sem preemptive. Whence comes calculus? I'm sorry, I just want to look through a few of these. Toilets and time machines. Oh, that's a reference to Day of the Tentacle. Mere space station. Roundness of pancakes. Are generally round, and therefore the natural laws of physics must explain this phenomenon. Dr. Leibniz says I am a sinner for recommending that one melt butter into their pancake batter, but for the purposes of science, I shall risk my eternal soul to damnation. Pray for me. <laughs> what the fuck? Purchase my next treatise to learn of my experience with fashionable pancake batter ingredients such as mercury, gold leaf, and Leibniz's tears. <laughs> wow. Fucking vindictive. Ion beam spectrometry. Spectrometry. I can word. Some people are wrong. <laughs> My aunt Bernice says you can make peanuts and butter by separating peanut butter. I'm not sure if that's true. I'll write more about this later when I know. Some people think that they are right about things. 63% of those people are wrong. <laughs> Japanese New Wave Cinema. Pot color. The joy of writing Wash Me. In the circle of fifths. Invisigent's magic land. Okay. <laughs> what? How can I prevent the ogre from stealing my wand? How do, can I prevent the orge from stealing know, my what wand? I was like, what? Have you visited Atari yet? There's an object you need. Go ahead, I'll wait. Did you find the tape recorder? You need a time machine to visit the tower in the past to get the tape recorder. Did you record the lecture in the college lecture hall? Oh, for oh. God's sake, go back and do that. <laughs> now play the lecture for the orge. You're still here? Jesus, I know this is a hint book, but I need to spell everything <laughs> out. Fast forward to the section discussing macroeconomic outcomes of public sector policy. Ogre asleep? Good, moving on. Okay, so this is how much of a fucking economics nerd I am. The fucking macroeconomic impacts of public sector policy sounds interesting as shit. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for you. I know, right? Uh, I love this. I love these stupid book titles. <laughs> That's Who my great great grandmother, Lady Edwina. Who are you? That's my great grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. Okay. Jim, if this uh, episode gets too long, just cut it in half, please. Yeah. Wait, was that a book called So You Have a Pulse? <laughs> <laughs> How to keep it that way. An overview. How to survive childhood. Do not trust your other mother. What? How to survive tween years being as boring as possible. That was me. Yeah, nice. How to survive being a teenager. Don't drive, don't drink, don't date. That was me. Yep, high five. Uh, how to survive the college years. Avoid cabins in the woods. Did uh, that. Always a good plan. Not here yet. Living to 40. <laughs> no sweetly. You can't have a clown at your birthday party. Living to 60, if you're not married, it just may, might be time unless you're rich. Living to 80, how you can make your own luck and don't have stairs. <laughs> Living to 90, if you made it this far, why stop now? Living to 100, maybe you should give me advice. Living to 110, keeping a positive outlook on life, and are you sure you're not a ghost? <laughs> God uh, damn it, that was dumb. Feel this cat, it's a meow more. Wait, what was that about DDT? What? Eh. Miracle <laughs> pesticide. 
So for anybody that doesn't know what DDT is and why we're laughing, DDT caused thalidomide babies. And it was bad. No, thalidomide was injections. DDT killed people. It was bad. <laughs> and they sp- they sprayed it on children oh my God. purposefully we- to be like, hey, check out how like good this is for your children. And then they died. Yep. I'm sorry, wait. Go back. Go up a bit. Uh, okay, we could read pseudo RMRF. Nice. No, there's one for a looping loop book. There you go. <laughs> Uh, for stopping those against go to, we just need to remember including exit conditions because one of the major dangers when writing programs are the risk of entering into an infinite loop. In those cases, instructions are repeated again and again. God Nicely done. All right, here we go. Uh, greatest adventure game scripting language ever created. Mucus was first used in the revolutionary game Mansion Mansion. Mucus is a cooperative multitasking language. Uh, 256 room local variables, eight parameters, source level debuggers. Mm-hmm. MFL, XOR, eight actors, room backgrounds are compressed, eight pixels, 256 sounds, gotcha. Okay. So, what was the question we were asked? Parameters. And how many can they fit in a function? Eight. Eight. Okay. Whee. If this doesn't break, I'm going to be upset. Also, I'm pretty sure that one of the complaints about Maniac Mansion was that there was a set of stairs that were, in fact, out of order. And you could never climb them, and one of the solutions was thought to be taking the sign, but it didn't work. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. Breathe fire. Breathe fire. Mm Well done. I actually set it on fire with my breath. Nice warm fire. Delightful. Try not to light yourself on fire. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, that that will definitely make Uncle Chuck happy. Burning up his mail. It's a glass. It's a glass (laughs) filled with water. Why would you? No, now we don't have an. Oh, the fireplace ash? is very sooty and filled with ash. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of. Yeah, black because I'm soot. a fat. I'm a. I'm a practical genius. <laughs> Check this shit out. Okay. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. Okay. We're making printer ink. Oh. It, it's an empty glass. This isn't a water-based ink. Not with that smell. And I wouldn't want to print something that could wash away. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. Wait, that's... I did it! Okay, we still need to get the stamps off. Wait. It's an it's an empty glass. I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough nope. for now. Empty glass. The glass is now filled with water. There we go. Uh, it must be up. Yeah. This actually works in real life, too. For what that's yeah. worth. Yeah, to steam the glue and all that. It's a also, if you don't Chuck, want... The stamps haven't been cancelled. If you don't want uh, your pizza to get soggy or to get chewy in the microwave when you reheat it, put a I wet paper to towel inside. Sweet. All right, cool. let's go put the, the letter back down. Wait, isn't it open now? Yeah, but I'm not reading it. Wait, what? All right, it's just saying that there's other people there. Maybe we need to get Dolores to eat a hot dog later. Or the clown. All four of them, and then we can get a hamburger. <laughs> the things we do for edible food. Oop, I didn't oh. want to do that. Wait, you just read it. Look at it anyway. No, I'm giving it to him. What? It's right there. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? Yes, but I thought you should hold on to it. Good idea, Dolores. And thank you for saving me the trouble of unsealing it. You know how much I hate opening mail. That's a weird thing to hate. Also, now we can't read it. 
Well, I'm sure you can uh, freeze frame that one frame and go look at it. Tim, do that. Apparently this is what it says. Yep. Cool. Probably important, but oh well. I'm sure I can figure it out without it. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. All right, where were with we? With dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary yep, yep, yep. mucus programming language. Do, 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 do. You must get all of the questions right to submit the yeah. question. First question. How many parameters can functions take? Eight. Next question. What kind of multitasking does mucus use? Uh... It'd be better to find some reference work on mucus before I answer this. Ah, uh, skip it! I need to study the mucus... Cooperative. Oh. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus uh. programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. How many parameters can functions take? Eight. Yay. Next question. Cooperative. What kind of multitasking does mucus use? Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? XOR? No. Dot MFL. Next question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. True. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. When there are five Congratulations. questions? Congratulations, you passed the Mucus oh. Phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the Mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. But There's no uh, ink! Oh no! Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron. Th I can't reach that. It's my state of the art. Yay! I Stop. answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Okay. I always like to watch this part. Wow, that's really convenient. Now that's pretty impressive to stamp too. The My letter to Mucus Flem is now stamped and ready to mail. And out Let's we go. It. Was there any other puzzles we needed to solve? Not that I can think of. I don't feel like the taste for non-trained bark infringing poopsie now. <laughs> Goddamn poopsie. Ugh. <sighs> It's an LFG-1982 tube, in perfect condition. Oh, we have to actually get a job. Because they're gonna Digger. reply, Mike. How exciting! I hope I get the job! Five days later, at around 5 p.m. Stop digging, Doug! Oh. Hi, Dolores! I have a letter for you. Well, that was weird. Oh. That was creepy. Good luck. See ya. Digging. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Seriously, Doug, stop. You're freaking me out. Well, but he really likes digging. He can go fuck himself. How rude. Right in the holes that he's digging. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Yes, I believe in you. How do you get okay, up your nerve? Okay, but if it's a no, that uh, means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone. <coughs> <in the truck? sighs> Okay, but... Open it! Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Good. Thank you. Yes! She it's got a the job. job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! You did it! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Sure he will. Aw oh, yeah, moonwalking. Aw oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Step into it. Put your foot down. Slide it back. Now you're moonwalking. Walk like an Egyptian. This just keeps going, huh? I can't really do anything about it. And she has Can the I? most sedate victory dance that I've ever seen. And I played Final Fantasy XIII. Oh! Alright. Oh, I could do something about it. I want to pick that up. Can I pick this up? Graphics yep. Basic, the powerful programming language. Unlock the full potential of your computer with over 100 additional English language commands. Now beginning programmers can create complex graphics, animation, and music without... Can you imagine that people actually had to fucking expert. make games in Sounds, machine language? I can't open that. Yeah, I mean, like, the, like, Super Mario Brothers, uh... Yeah, it's like... Roller Coaster Tycoon was assembly. It's fucking crazy. Alright, All right. let's talk to Uncle Chork. And give him the bad news. Hello, my favorite Then we can niece. end this long episode. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Fuck you and your job! Here, read this. You're what?! You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, yep. that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. <laughs> Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Aww. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. Can you do me a favor? Can you go to your icons in the upper right for Maybe available the characters? Okay. Oh. Uh. All right. I need to stay Hi. focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. You were just knocked out, and that's your fucking wake. Next time on character select, we'll find out what the fuck's going on with Reyes. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it, Tyler. Yep. That took a while. That did. Where the fuck are we? Give that hand a high five. Yeah. An arm extended in friendship or supplication? Huh. Hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. It's made of plastic. No murder here. Yeah.